The purpose of this video is to provide an honest and detailed review of the Chrome Strike Outfitters Stave 9 foot 8 weight fly fishing rod. Yeah, that was a bite. Oh no, come, no, no, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Got a nice little hump to it. There you go, put, put the rod to the test. Nice fish. Stave, Chrome Strike Outfitters, nine foot eight weight rod. I kind of love this green color. Full disclaimer, I received this rod from CSO, Chrome Strike Outfitters, with the understanding that I would put it through its paces, catch some salmon, cast it with different sink tips, let some of my friends cast with it, and provide a detailed and honest review of my experience to you guys on YouTube. So the first thing I wanna do is talk to you guys about some of the specifications of the rod. So first let's look at the real area and real seat. So the reel seat has a, this like anodized metal look to it. It fits all standard reels. It's got some really high quality cork. So there's a piece at the bottom which can help you if you want to two hand your, your eight weight. And then there's a really nice double well style cork handle. Uh, this is extremely comfortable. It feels extremely balanced when you're fishing it. Moving up a little bit, you've got a hook keeper, which is always helpful. The color, it has this like green eggshell uh, kind of lime green, dark green eggshell color to it. Threading is an even brighter lime green color. The bottom two guides or eyes of the rod are reinforced stainless steel. Uh, this rod comes with uh, a nice black case with a mesh inner lining for each of your four pieces. The other unique thing about this rod is that it's got 11 guides instead of kind of the standard 10. And when I spoke to the guys at CSO, they explained that that was just a design choice that can help with shooting lines. So I'll talk a little bit about my experience with casting, but uh, that, that may be true. When you put together this rod, let me make sure I do this approximately correctly. Uh, it seats very nicely. Um, one thing I'll note is that it doesn't have any markings here so that you can line it up easily. Uh, you have to use your eyes, which is good practice anyway. A lot of the time those markings are not accurate. Boom. So there it is, your nine foot eight weight rod. There are three places where you can buy this rod, which again, comes with a case. Um, you can buy it directly from chromestrikeoutfitters.ca on their website. So the price of this guy is $159.99 currently as of filming, which is September 2023. If you do that, you can use my 15% off code ROSIN at checkout, R-O-S-I-N. There's also a link in the description to the website and uh, my promo code is listed there as well. But you can also buy this um, and go and kind of look at it and see what you think by going to Fred's Custom Tackle. They're carrying it as well as the Canadian Tire on Canby Street in Vancouver. I'm not 100% sure of the price from Fred's or the Canadian Tire, but I know on the website, $159.99 before 15% off. Let's talk a little bit about who should be interested and consider fishing this rod. So first of all, uh, an eight weight is kind of gonna be your go-to single-handed rod for smaller salmon fishing. So what I was fishing for putting it through its paces was pink salmon. And this year in 2023, the pink salmon were pretty large. And this thing held up like a champion. Um, I got a few like multi-minute fights out of some of these fish. And uh, I had absolutely no problems. I felt really comfortable pulling fish in. Lots of strength, no concerns with its integrity or robustness. Uh, in addition, coho fishing, uh, smaller, chum salmon should be totally fine on this rod. The one thing I would caution with most eight weights, including this rod, is don't buy this if your goal is to go and catch a large Chinook. Obviously, I don't really think that needs to be said, but this is more for those other salmon species, uh, beach, estuary fishing, river fishing, swinging flies, stripping sink tips, stuff like that. The kind of person who wants to consider taking a look at this rod when they go to the fly shop is probably the 90% of anglers from beginner up through intermediate where you want a very pleasant casting experience and you're looking for something that's in a high quality range but a pretty low price range. The $159.99 for this rod 
in my opinion, is a huge steal. Uh, it feels much higher quality than that price tag. It casts much better than other similarly priced rods on the market. The reason I say 90 out of 100 anglers also has to do with how it fishes. So let's, let's talk about how it feels when it's actually fishing. So like I said, I've been fishing for pink salmon. I've casted it with a few different sink tips from kind of a floating line, 1.5 inches per second slow, three and six inches per second faster sink tips. This thing has, in my opinion, a medium to medium fast action. And I think that's a really important thing to let you guys know because a lot of eight weights tend to be more toward the faster action and some are designed on purpose to be very fast action. For me personally, I really like the feel of it going just a little bit slower in my cast. I also find that this rod loads extremely well with all of those different sig tips and different weights of flies. This rod loads very easily without much effort and it shoots line like a dream. My primary asterisk on that statement is that it comes back to the 10 out of 100 fishers who they've got lots of experience and they know that their primary goal is to shoot line out as far as possible. And that's where this rod is not gonna be quite as good as some of the faster action rods where you wanna get that extra five, 10, maybe 15 feet out on your cast. That's probably for guys who have already dialed in their cast. They have really good technique. So maybe the more experienced guys are gonna want something faster action where they can put that fast action to work properly and get the extra distance they want to get closer to the fish. But for swinging flies and squamish, for pink salmon, for casting at the beach at Furry Creek or Ambleside, for swinging flies or stripping flies in different pools in Chilliwack, Vetter River, this rod is totally fine and would be an excellent choice to consider for at least nine out of 10 anglers. Especially people who are new to fly fishing, I would highly encourage you, go and check out this rod and just see how it feels in comparison to other options in a similar or slightly higher price range. A little bit about the company, uh, Chrome Strike Outfitters is a, a local brand. Uh, they've been around for a few years and they're just starting to get into the fly fishing space. This is actually one of a series of fly fishing rods. They've got a five weight um, trout rod primarily. They've got a trout spay and a salmon spay rod. So if you're looking for something else besides an A weight, you might want to consider one of their other rods. Uh, the 15% off code applies to anything on their website. So you guys can go ahead and check out what they have to offer. These guys, because they're local, they care very much about the local community and providing a, a good product. Also, every rod sold supports the Pacific Salmon Foundation. They all have a little sticker right here, which is nice. I'm getting more information about their warranty and things like tip replacement. So I can give that information to you guys to help you in making your decision if you want to follow up on this rod or not for yourself. The other thing I'm asking and waiting uh, for information for, and, and Steve has sent this to his kind of business partner and design guy, is what reel and what fly line they would recommend uh, to pair with this specific eight weight fly rod. Um, I haven't gotten an answer yet. Uh, I think they're kind of working on it in the background. Um, so I'll let you guys know when I know. My honest opinion on this rod, if that's what you're here for, is it really suits me. I love the slower action compared to my Echo. My own casting cadence and my own kind of vibe is just a little bit slower. And so I love that this rod has given me the opportunity to enjoy casting that much more. Um, I've caught fish on it. It totally held up against those fish. I had no concerns whatsoever. I was just enjoying the fight. And, you know, I personally like that lime green color and uh, others might not. That's a personal preference thing. The quality of the cork is amazing. I've just been really, really happy with the performance of the rod. And I think for the price, I don't know if it's beatable, honestly, at the price point. I really don't know of anything else that could really compete with this. This is my new go-to salmon rod. My other rod is gonna go and collect dust, I think. So yeah, my take home message is this is a great rod to consider for the majority of anglers out there who are maybe looking for a replacement, a slight upgrade at a pretty affordable price. And folks who might like to slow down their cast and let the rod do some of the work for them at kind of short to medium distances, but maybe not the extra, extra long distances. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them and I'll reach out to Steve uh, for anything that I don't know, all right?
take care good luck fishing and let me know if you look into this rod and use the promo code save yourself some money I do like the slightly slower action than like my very fast action rod. Yes. And that's a bit more to my natural tempo. Yes. Than... I found it very comfortable yeah. to cast. So initial thoughts. Yeah, I like it a lot. Like it shoots mine really well. It's like to me it's the heaviest rod I've ever cast. So you can have like a five six, but yeah. it feels really good. Like it's shoot mine out there. Like, yeah, honestly, your casting form for an eight weight getting up 40 feet looked really clean, which is not what happens with my other rod, so. You know, if I was uh, about getting into fly fishing at this price point, this is a really good sort of coho pink a small salmon rod. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So you're not having to drop the two, three, four hundred bucks. Come on, sweetie.